Drunk Town's Finest is a film shot entirely in New Mexico and features an all-New Mexican cast and crew, and it has been named an official selection for the 2014 Sundance Film Festival. In anticipation of its world premiere, I sat down with the film's star, Jeremiah Bitsui, to talk about this groundbreaking motion picture. So first <laughs> off, um, congratulations on Drunk Town's Finest getting into Sundance 2014. Can you tell us a little bit about the film? Yes, uh, the film is basically, it's a coming-of-age story. It's about um, three young people that are each in their own journey and, and dealing with identity issues and uh, trying to get out of what's called Drunk Town, and, um, or uh, it's actually based on Gallup, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. But um, trying to get out of this town that kind of has you know, a little bit of drama and tension in its history. And so um, for I think all of them, it's, it's kind of a little bit of an unhealthy place for them. Okay. You know? And um, I, you know, for some people, it's probably one of the, it's probably home, and it's you know, it's a great place. But for these three people, it's uh, it's really about getting out, exactly. survival. Yeah. And so you play uh, Luther Sick Boy Mary Boy, which is yeah. a great character name, uh, who is described as a rebellious father to be. What can you tell us about that character? You know, he's his his conflict. Like what I saw, it, like this, it was inspired by um, this. I was at the gym one time. And uh, I, I had, and growing up, I had a lot of friends that were, you know, probably on the, the wrong side of the tracks. And um, this guy said something that always stuck with me. He said, you know, I wish I'd gather up all those gangbangers and all those guys that just aren't worth a darn. And, and um, he didn't say those words, but take them out to the middle of the desert and just blow them up. I, I just thought about, started to think about friends that actually had made a turn in their life and made something substantial happen. And I just think, like, as people, we're, we're horrible judges, you know what I mean? Like, we're, 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 it's hard for us to be able to justify, you know, what's right and what's wrong and how a people, how a person, how their life is actually going to, what, what it's going to become. And that's what was inspiring for me with, uh, with Sick Boy, is really being able to, to, to jump into a character where you could see that he's probably not the best from a moral standpoint, but that he has serious convictions and that he really had learned some lessons and is currently learning a huge lesson yeah. and um and that there's hope for him yeah. and so what are you looking forward to most about going to sundance with drunk town's finest i think i'm i haven't seen it yet you know i've oh, seen okay. yeah and so have i've only seen yesterday we were doing adr um here and and um i i, I saw little clips but i was trying to like still kind of shield myself and, and you know, keep myself uh, from, uh, from seeing the final product. But I'm really, personally, I'm, I'm excited, you know. I'm really, I, I'd, I'd love for it to, uh, to just do what, what the script did, you know, for everybody. I think everybody was really inspired by the script. And I, I think, um, you know, it, it'd be wonderful. It's always, a sh it's a wonderful experience to share it with an audience, you know. And... Um, uh, I've never done stage, but I, that's the kind of, that's, that's what I could, I guess, compare it to in, in a certain sense, being able to share that experience yeah. with everyone else. It's awesome, man. And of course, many people remember you as Victor from Breaking Bad, a uh, great character who met an untimely and very graphic end uh, at the hands of Mr. Giancarlo Esposito. Um, and we also know that you're a super busy guy right now, a lot of things on the plate. So what can we look forward to from Jeremiah Batsu in the future? I, I, there's a few things. I mean, there was one that we just we wrapped a show. It was with one of the producers from Breaking Bad, with Stuart Lyons, mm -hmm. and um, he's doing a show right now, and it's called uh, Night Shift. Mm -hmm. And um, really excited about it. You know, it's kind of a cool spin on the ER. You know, we all seen ER, so that's that's another. And then, um, you know, I've been I've been spending a lot of time writing too. Oh, great. And so I think it's for an actor, it, it's it's great to be able to know all the different parts. At the end of the day, I can consider myself a storyteller. And so to know the different elements and what, what people are doing, you know, you see him on set, you see a guy with his, his cans on, and he's just sitting there and he's emerged, immersed in, in, the, uh, in the dialogue. You know, that writer, you realize you want to be able to bring uh, justice to his work and do your portion, but it's almost, it's great to be able to know what everyone is doing. And then also how, the, how to put the story together, because I think it makes, a huge difference in where you fit into it. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Cool. Jeremiah, best of luck Sunday. Thank you. Thank you so much, yeah.